Tesla, the company which never ceases to amaze its audience with its innovations and ideas. Tesla made it clear that electric cars are the future and proved it to the public. From a sensational startup plan to a mind-blowing tech corp, Tesla's growth is remarkable. Of course, it's Elon Musk, the man behind all these successes with his bizarre ideas and visions. He in fact rewrote the manner people look at tech and how it could be wielded for substantial developments. So, what's Tesla's new plans? Any clues? Hey folks, welcome back to another video of Wealth Building Secrets. In today's episode, let's check will Tesla start operations in their latest Gigafactory in Berlin and what's standing in their way? So, let's go! Okay, Tesla now plans on making their Model Y the best-selling car of 2023. The crossover SUV segment happens to be the segment that a lot of people are excited about, and most people are buying crossover SUVs instead of sedans because of their practicality and styling. Tesla knows this very well, which is why they introduced the Model Y way back in 2019. As soon as the Tesla Model Y hit the markets, the car literally took over the whole EV market. The Model Y turned out to be pure value for money. Performance, range, comfort, and of course economic price range all make the Model Y far likable than other electric vehicles out in the market. But there's something that stands in Tesla's way. The Toyota Corolla is currently the best-selling car in the world. They sell approximately 1.5 million units. Toyota is presently a major company that dominates the whole global automobile market. So, in order to make such a feat, Tesla plans on increasing their production rates with their massive Gigafactories. And the fourth one is in Berlin, which is currently under construction. With the Gigafactories boosting up output, Tesla's cost of battery cells will considerably decrease through economies of scale, clever manufacturing techniques, reduction of waste, and the reasonable optimization of locating most manufacturing procedures under a single roof. By decreasing the cost of batteries, Tesla can create products accessible to more and more people, allowing them to make the biggest possible impact on the market as the largest selling car. Let's come back to Berlin. The Gigafactory Berlin is Tesla's first manufacturing unit in Europe and is planned to be Tesla's most sustainable and energy efficient plant yet. The factory is being assembled in phases so that Tesla can start up manufacturing instantly inside the finished compartments and continue to broaden thereafter. Once completed, Elon Musk foresees the Gigafactory to be the biggest facility in the world which is completely fueled by renewable power sources. Formulated to be a net-zero energy plant upon completion, the building will be largely powered by solar and installation is already underway. Calculated to be completed this year, it will manufacture hundreds of thousands of Model Y vehicles and millions of battery cells. In order to do this, Tesla alone will need today's whole worldwide pool of lithium-ion batteries. That's something huge! So, in fact, everything lies in how they plan on boosting their production rates of the Model Y in order to make such a feat by 2023. Elon Musk announces that Tesla's Gigafactory outside Berlin will commence manufacturing the cars as soon as this November, even though the firm has still not received final authorization from the German authorities. Tesla is still combating legal resistance and uprisings from numerous environmental groups and some residents around, who complain that the factory might disrupt natural abodes for endangered animals and pollute the local water supply. This is what many companies are facing all around the globe. And in order for Tesla to lawfully open the factory, the corporation needs to receive official authorization from the Environmental Ministry in Brandenburg, which is the state where the plant is located. Meanwhile, an online conference for local residents to convey their criticisms of Tesla's factory will be repeated, said the regional environmental ministry. A legal survey process encompassing the local inhabitants is set to be determined on Thursday, but even then, the environment ministry has not given a date for a final judgment, according to the forum. But in an apparent plan, in order to charm the residents of Grunheide, the Berlin suburb where the factory is located, Musk came into the town for a quick fair over the weekend playing electronic music, a ferris wheel, and vegetarian food trucks. Which might seem a bit funny, at the same time awkward, right? Fans applauded and cracked up while Musk took the stage at sunset, cheering him like a pop star. The company also gave away 9,000 tickets to the festival, with dwellers of Brandenburg state given priority and also lent free rides in Teslas. Musk told the cheering audience at the festival at the plant site 
many of whom live-streamed the speech on social media, that starting production is fine, but volume output is the hard part, and that it might take longer to attain volume production than it took to build the whole plant. He also asserted that volume generation would number up to 5,000 or aim to 10,000 vehicles per week, and battery cells would be made there in large quantities by the end of next year. Here, he tried to defend the factory against fault finders about the factory's environmental impact, saying that it uses relatively little water and that battery cell production is sustainable. Many of the local inhabitants and environmental factions are very dissatisfied with Musk's approach, which they assert that it flies in the face of German business culture. Just a sec. Before moving on, do hit the like button and for more updates and videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Alright, let's continue with the video. If the factory gets permission to open and start production, Tesla says it will eventually pump out 5,000 to 10,000 vehicles per week, as Musk explained. The factory and adjacent battery plant are set to manufacture at least 500,000 battery electric cars a year and produce 50 gigawatt hours of capacity, breaking Tesla's German competitors on every front. Brandenburg State's economy minister has put the likelihood of Musk gaining permission to operate at 95%. Tesla has accepted proposals to invest 5 billion euros, almost 5.8 billion dollars, in a battery factory with 50 gigawatt hour capacity next to the Gigafactory location. For that, the Tesla Gigafactory was bred out of such a necessity and will provide enough cells to assist Tesla's projected vehicle demand. Germany, a country where climate change often caps voters' interests following the phenomenal heat waves, droughts, and the Fridays for Future protest movement, Healthy mobility supporters have welcomed Tesla's plans and claim it as a huge gain for mobility growth. Many people also pin great hopes on the factory's economic effects. The state of Brandenburg, which encircles the capital Berlin and rooms the plant, is basically a structurally weak area with very limited job opportunities. It is hopeless for new jobs as many will be lost during Germany's coal exit as the mining industry continues to be one of the state's most crucial employers. The local government yearns to turn the area into a future mobility and energy transition area and showcases the Tesla location as the main priority alongside broad issues such as digitalization and education. One can see it is very much beneficial regarding the people there and hopefully the plant will start its operations by the end of this month. That's about it for today. Drop in your comments about the Gigafactories and how you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like for the video if you're a huge fan of what Tesla is doing in the automotive industry. That's it for today, we will meet again in the next one.